Hello, this is the editor. In this series, we're going to be covering how to make a decent terrain. It's not going to be AAA quality, but you'd really want to hire a professional team if you're making a AAA game. So this would be good for things like demos and test scenes, because you can throw it together pretty quickly and it looks pretty okay. So let's get on with the video. So I'm using a tool from Procedural Worlds, first of all. It's called Gaia, and it allows us to randomly, procedurally create a terrain. I'm not going to go into all of the settings and things. I'll leave that to a different um, video. But in, uh, I'm just using the defaults here. So create terrain and stamper. Do that. We have a terrain. Excellent. Not very interesting yet, but we have a terrain. We also have a session manager and a stamper over here, and then inside a Gaia environment is our terrain. We're going to look at the stamper a little later in a different video. Uh, that's how the terrain is created. For the now, though, we're just going to focus on the session manager. We're going to click on this random terrain generator. We're going to say, um, yeah, I want a, a, a good chance of a lake emerging because um, I do want a lake in this scene because I want to do some underwater stuff uh, to illustrate some things later on. Maybe we'll have a valley. Maybe we'll have a river. And we definitely want some hills and we want it surrounded by mountains. Okay, click add stamps. So this is generating randomly a bunch of stamps based on the criteria that I've set down here. And in a moment, those stamps will appear under this operations list here. And we'll be able to generate our uh, terrain by applying those stamps. Let's see what that looks like before we actually talk about what a stamp is in a later session. Let's click play session. And it's going to start by stamping out a mountain field and then a mountain seven and a lake two and so on. And you can see the land emerging over here on this side. And in a moment or two, there we go. It is now, com oh, it's still working. It is now complete. So I said I wanted, oh, no, it's not. It keeps fooling me. Now it's complete. Yeah, there we go. So it's applied all of these trains. We've got some rugged area over here. Got a, a reasonably... Do we have a reasonably fat area? Yeah, this place here, is, this is pretty flat. We have some lakes uh, areas here. Not actually surrounded by mountains because it, it, it's going off the edge here. I think I might do something about that in a moment. Uh, we have some nice peaks and things over here. This terrain looks pretty good. Uh, this might want smoothing out a bit so we can have a village and stuff there. We'll see later. But I do want to fix this here. I wanted it fully surrounded by mountains, and we haven't got it in this corner here or this edge here. So now I can go in and I can use those stamps to fine-tune my terrain. So I'm going to go into the Gaia folder, go to stamps, and inside of here there's all these directories, and you'll recognize them from the random generator, the different types of stamps that we can have. And I'm going to pick mountains. Now this is going to give us an opportunity to look at what the stamps are. Um, so let's pick one, let's say the Andes Mountains. You can see here a height map. The white parts are going to be higher, and the dark parts are going to be lower. And if I go to my stamper and put, let's say, the Andes Mountains that we were just looking at into my stamper, I can now see here is my Andes Mountains stamp. Okay, it's scaled down. It's not the full size of the uh, of this particular terrain, um, but I can now move that around and use it to adjust my terrain. it down again I'm just clicking around just so I can see where the water level is so I need to go from this ridge to this ridge here 
this stamp is going to be too small. So let's make it larger. And I'm going to use this bit at the back, spin it around. There, that looks kind of good. And then push it back a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit too peaky for my liking over there. Um, so I'm going to bring those peaks down a little. This graph here says from the outside to the middle, how much impact do you want it to have on your terrain? So I'm going to bring it down and say, don't, don't give me quite so much and have it in the center much higher than on the outside. So I'm going to add a key in here and say, I don't really want anything on the outside. And now I'm going to test this by clicking stamp. And if I turn off the preview, we don't actually see any difference. Why? Let's actually start with a... Oh, I'd lowered it so low that it didn't actually make much of an effect. So let's drag that down. Try that again. There we go. This time it definitely raised the land up. Maybe a little too much there and not enough there. So I'm going to undo that and just increase. Try that. So click stamp. Okay, I may have it pushed too far over on that side, so I just undo it again. Put it on preview. Bring it this way a little. Stamp. Turn off the preview. Okay, that looks better. Let's see what the water says. Yes, that's much better. We've now brought the water in. And you can see a very fast way of generating terrain there. Uh, this looks kind of good now, but we do need some texturing on here. So that's the last thing that we'll do just now. We've got very rocky area over here, very flat area over there. That looks great. So to do the texturing, we need to go to our Gaia manager again, click add spawners or create spawners. And what you have over here is these five spawners have been created. We're going to look at the others in later videos, but the one we want right now is a texture spawner. Simply click spawn. This comes with some sand, grass, rock, and a different kind of rock, and some rules about when and where to apply each of those textures. And it's running through right now and working out where to apply them. And once it's done, you have a textured environment. Looking good. This is the area we adapted. We have some steep bits and some flat bits. And the rock is exposed where it's steep. We don't need to worry about the, you know, like over here, we've got some pretty heavy tiling. We're going to deal with that in a later video. So we don't need to worry too much uh, about having it perfect. We want it looking reasonable at this stage so we can get on with working. Hello again. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to add like vegetation and villages and other points of interest into your rather bland terrains just to spice them up a bit. So hopefully you stick around for that next one. See you there.